Hi, welcome to Somerset Berkeley Regional High School. I'm Dr. Susan Brelsford, I'm the principal here. This is Mrs. DeCuto, she's one of our assistant principals. This is Mrs. Pereira, she is our other assistant principal. Couple things before we go inside. Always wear your mask. No congregating in the hallways. No food or drink except for water. Come on in. So as you know, school starts at 7.40 a.m. But the doors to the school will open at 7.25 a.m. When you get here, you will come in and go directly to your classroom. There's no congregating or standing in the hallways before school, during school, or after school time. If you need breakfast in the morning, you should head down to the Student Dining Center. That's where you should get dropped off. You can eat your breakfast in the Student Dining Center and then proceed right to class. When you arrive to school in the morning, buses will drop you off in the back of the building. Parents and guardians will drop you off in the front of the building, and that will also be the pickup point in the afternoon when you're leaving. Right now we're standing outside of the main office. A few things about school that you need to know for this year. First of all, there are no lockers, so you should prepare each day bringing only what you need for that day, including a charged Chromebook and a positive attitude. When you enter the main office, you should go through this door to enter the main office and the other door to exit. So one-way system. As you can see, there are signs on the ground pointing you in the direction that you need to follow. This staircase is an up staircase. In case of an emergency, you would not follow these signs. You would ignore the signs and come down and leave the building safely and as quickly as possible. As you know, there are two elevators in the building. The only change to the elevator policy is that one person will be allowed in the elevator at a time. We understand that it will take longer, one person using the elevator, but we have allowed 10 minutes of passing time to assure you can get to class on time. So last year when you entered guidance, there was a sign-in sheet here where you would put down your name and what time you came in. This year with the new regulations, we've opted to go with a QR code, as you can see on here. This will be where you take your phone, turn on your camera, you scan it, it'll ask for your name, uh, what, you are, what counselor you're here to see, and that will log you in. And then when you are all done, you're going to scan this one on the door and all you do is put in your name. That just marks that you've actually left guidance to go back to class or study wherever you're going. If you are a junior or a senior looking for um, transcript requests to be sent to your college, we do have another QR code down the end here, which I'll show you, uh, where we are going to do the same process. So right here is another QR code similar to the ones we used over there. Again, you'll just scan it with your phone and it will ask for your name your year of graduation, and you can put up to 10 colleges where you want your transcripts sent. If for some reason you happen to have more than 10, you can just scan it a second time. This information will go to your counselor, as well as the uh, guidance uh, administrative assistants, Mrs. O'Connell and whoever's gonna be sitting here, uh, and they will make sure that your transcripts get sent to your college of choices. Hi everyone and welcome to the guidance department. My name is Liz Coogan. I am the director here of SEL, uh, Social Emotional Learning and Counseling. I have with me today Mrs. O'Connell. Mrs. O'Connell is one of our administrative assistants here at guidance and kind of the face you see when you walk in to greet and welcome everyone. Unfortunately, the counselors aren't with us here today. They are working remotely and we have Mrs. Bolduck, Ms. Prue and Mrs. McCarthy. And we're all excited that you're going to be joining the Somerset Berkeley family and we're all eager here waiting your arrival and to welcome you. Um, here in the counseling office we want to support you both academically and socially and emotionally. Hi everyone, so if you need to use the restroom we would like you to follow the signs that we have here. We have the boys off to the left hand side, our staff bathroom that can only be used for faculty and staff. We have our unisex bathroom and then over to the right hand side, we have our girls restroom. There will be someone here monitoring you and only one person is allowed at a time and they will document the time in and the time out for you. When you're walking in the hallways, remember to stay six feet apart and always wear your mask. So I'm standing in the performing arts lobby and normally to get to lunch, you could go down by the chorus classroom or go straight and take a right and go to, by the uh, locker rooms. 
today and this year, you have to go straight and go down by the locker rooms because if you go down the hallway where the chorus room is, you're gonna get to the end of the hallway and you can't turn left because of the arrows. So when we're going to lunch, we have to go straight past the gym and take a right at the locker rooms. So you will notice that the Student Dining Center is one of the most dramatic changes here at Somerset Berkeley. The reason for that is because even when we get back to hybrid, if we were to have kept the cafeteria tables that we had last year, we wouldn't be able to fit the students for lunch. So we had to go to this model in order to serve lunch for our students. Mrs. Decudo and Mrs. Pereira are going to model expectations for the cafeteria. So Mrs. Decudo is walking into the cafeteria. She needs to buy lunch. So she is going to turn and go straight into the cafeteria, just like always, in order to buy her food. Mrs. Pereira brought her lunch, so she is going to go to her seat. She is going to scan a QR code with her phone, which is going to tell us exactly where each student is seated in the cafeteria. She's then gonna sit down, hand sanitize herself. She then removes her mask when she is seated at her table, and she can begin eating lunch. When she's done with lunch, just like all students, uh, she's going to hand sanitize again, clean up her area, and then proceed to class at the end of lunch. So this is what a typical classroom is going to look like in high school. When you come in at the front of every classroom right near the door, you're gonna find a hand sanitizer station, which you should use when you're coming into a classroom and when you're leaving the classroom. We are so looking forward to starting to see you guys come in next week. We are looking forward to a wonderful year and we'll see you soon. Bye.